yours. But, sir... I insist. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, I wanted to create a makeup look for you guys. This look was inspired by the Disney Princess Belle. It's kind of like an everyday look of what I picture modern day Belle wearing. The look is actually very, very simple aside from the winged liner. But other than that, super easy, super simple and great for this time of year. So if you guys are interested in learning how to get this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so clearly I was very excited about my minky ears matching the makeup for today. So that is what you're seeing here. So anyways, I started off by priming my lids with this Lorac Behind the Scenes Primer and I'm setting that down with the Wet n Wild Single Shadow in Creme Brulee. Next, I'm taking a mustard yellow shade and applying that all over the lid as well as the crease. This shade is from the Morphe and Kathleen Lights palette, which is probably not available anymore, but any mustardy yellow will do. I actually wanted a brighter sunflower yellow for the crease, but unfortunately, I do not have a shade like that, so I just had to work with what I had. But if you do have a brighter yellow, I would recommend using that as the crease shade. So here I'm taking this single shadow called Coco Bear by Makeup Geek on the outer crease. And then for a little bit more definition, I'm taking this matte brown shade from my Lorac Pro 1 palette and concentrating that on the outer corner. For the bottom lash line, I'm just using Coco Bear again and then focusing the darker matte brown from the Lorac palette on the outer bottom lash line to connect the top to the bottom. Okay, so I was desperate for a light yellow, but all I had was this banana powder from Ofra. So I'm just tapping a little bit of that on the center of my lids to add a tad bit more brightness to the eyes. Then taking a light champagne color, I'm going to highlight my brow bone. And then I'm dipping into the Rodeo Drive highlighter from Ofra to highlight my inner corners. Next, I'm filling in my brows with the Tanya Crooks Brow Gal. It was actually supposed to be a more of a chocolatey brown color, but that didn't happen. Here, I'm just using this brown pencil from Wet n Wild for my waterline and tightline. And this is me noticing a perfect little circle right on top of my head. Okay, so now I'm going to create a wing with the Ciate Fierce Flicks Felt Tip Liner. And then right above that, I'm going to apply some of this NYX Liquid Crystal Liner in gold for more glam. I'm also applying some of this glitter liner in my inner corners as well to open up my eyes more. Next, I'm going to curl my lashes and apply some of this Tarte Tardiest Mascara. And for even more volume, I'm going to pop on these falsies from Wet n Wild. For primer, I'm using the Dr. Brandt Luminizing Pores No More primer. And for foundation, I'm mixing together the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Cream Beige with the Becca Shimmering Liquid Skin Perfector in Prosecco Pop. And I'm going to blend all this in with this matching yellow beauty sponge from Pure Cosmetics. Now, I'm going to conceal with the Tarte Shape Tape in Light Medium Honey. And I'm going to set down that concealer with the Ofra Banana Powder. Next, I'm using this face palette by IBY Beauty to contour my face. And I'm going to bake my face just a little bit. For blush, I'm going in with this Shimmer Bronzer by Hikari in the shade Flush. And then I'm just dusting away the powder I was baking with. To highlight my face, I'm going back in with Rodeo Drive by Ofra. And for the lips, I decided to go with this Maybelline Matte Lipstick in Raw Chocolate. Finally, I'm just setting down my makeup with this Project Beauty Setting Spray. Alright guys, so that's it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!